Peace and blessings to you. Welcome to Cosmic Mystic. Happy New Year to you. I pray that all is well with you. Thanks for coming to check out my channel. You're most welcome here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all of your positivity that you send. So, dear viewer, just before I get into everything, I wanted to let you guys know I've been receiving a lot of emails and stuff like that. So I just want to clarify some things. First of all, I want to say thank you so much to everyone who has supported Cosmic Mystic and who's allowed me to read for them. Um, those of you who have purchased private readings, those of you who have commissioned art from me, thank you so much for your support. And I'm really grateful to be a blessing in your life as well. So guys, I discontinued a lot of my private readings. It's temporary. It's probably going to be for the majority of 2020, however. So when you go to book, yes, things are different. My readings are priced different. I'm offering different kinds of varieties. So it's something that um, you can get a reading that's personalized just the way that you want it. So that's why I'm doing it. And it allows me to take a break while still being able to provide private readings because, you know, I wear many different hats. So I have a lot of other things going on in my life and I need to pull back a bit, but I didn't want to completely remove the option. So just keep that in mind when you're going to book your private readings. Also know that my Patreon is on and it's popping. I love my Patreon subscribers. Thank you, you guys. Everyone send love to our Patreon subscribers for Cosmic Mystic. Because of them, I was able to invest in some new equipment for the channel and things are upgrading. So everyone send love to our Patreon subscribers. I love you guys. Thank you. So I'm going to be making several readings for you today. I'm going to get in the habit of doing this. We'll see what happens. I make no promises. Know that today's reading may or may not resonate with you. If it does, I'm grateful that you were able to get your messages. And if it doesn't, I'm grateful to know that I'll get to read for you hopefully in the future. Also know that this is an 18 plus setting. This channel is only for adults. This reading is only for adults. I will not tiptoe around you because I do not know you personally and it's not my responsibility to do so. Therefore, it is your responsibility, dear viewer, to moderate your emotions, knowing that it's impossible for me to know what may trigger you or upset you if challenging information comes out during the reading. But I read in reality, I deal with the real world, therefore challenging information is bound to come out from time to time and it will be your responsibility as an adult to moderate your emotions and not project any unhealed anger that you have onto me. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. Thank you for your attention. I wish you a lot of luck and a lot of love. I'll share. So dear viewer, we have the wolf moon today, January 10th, 2020. It's a lunar eclipse. It's the first of 13 full moons in 2020. It is the first of six eclipses for the year, I believe. I think three or four of those are going to be lunar eclipses, or two or three of those are going to be solar eclipses. Don't hold me to that, but that's what I believe from what I've studied. So I believe that um, it's mostly going to be seen or be visible in parts of um, Europe, North Africa, like Spain, for example, Morocco, um, India should be able to see it, the Russias, parts of um, Northeastern Australia, all of the Asias, a great majority of Mama Africa, except for certain parts of the Western countries within the continent. So, 
So this full moon, lunar eclipse on January 10th, 2020, dear viewer, it falls at 20 degrees Cancer. You're going to find that this energy triggers a lot of what you are experiencing within the hostility of the world at this present time. At the potential of the onset of the third world war and how certain actions are being taken to prevent that if at all possible. It's going to really highlight communication and how we express ourselves. How our expressions impact others. How we can try to impose our dominance and enforce our will onto others. Because there's so much Plutonic and Saturian influence in these energies. And how, you know, people will respond, countries, nations, when they're backed into a corner. Or when the pressure has exceeded its maximum capacity. The results of that. You know, the sun, it's conjunct Mercury. Therefore, we always may not be aware of the consequences and the reactions of what it is that we communicate and how it is that we express ourselves. We may behave in a way that is reckless or is blind to certain realities. Therefore, once the action is done, we may not always be prepared to deal with the consequences because we can't control how others will respond. We can only control ourselves. But maybe there is underestimation and inappropriate or absent-minded communications could result in confrontations. It could show us where we assumed incorrectly where our perception of reality doesn't match the perception of another, or where we could potentially be pushing people to a point where they expose another side of themselves that we weren't aware existed. Therefore, you come into, you know, the presence of a formidable opponent, and then you have yourself a full-out disaster. And it may manifest as war. It may manifest as pro police brutality. It may manifest as brothers and sisters, you know, of the universe who can only see the differences in their appearance and cannot see the likeness in, in their souls. Fighting, hating each other, harming one another. People who are especially vulnerable and, and sensitive feeling the need to finally stand up and protect themselves by any means necessary. And the some results of those actions. It's really going to expose also the stark differences in socioeconomic statuses, meaning the differences between those who are perceived to be wealthy and those who are perceived to be poor. You know, and, and any types of differences in the wealth gap within each of your societies. It's going to become very obvious now where the real power lies, who has true power potential and who does not, who's all talk and who's really muscle. The energy is going to be heavily activated so the tensions are going to be radically felt. The positive, beautiful aspects here are that um, ingenious ideas are likely to be born at this time. And many of you can experience phenomenal success. 
So what's what I would really tell you to know is that whatever you're experiencing and however the energies of this lunar eclipse manifest in your environment, maybe it's not going to be very much gray area, meaning not very much center. It's going to be a lot of the absolute most phenomenal best or the oh my god WTF what is this kind of tower moments because there's a pressure here where things need to be expressed either way either the benefits are long overdue or the tensions that are experienced have been stifled and suppressed for so long Either way, the energies have nowhere to go but to come out. You know, so maybe, you know, there could be some turmoil, some upsetting moments, and then there could also be radical, phenomenally fabulous windfalls. Just know that whatever happens, you're going to be forced to feel compassion For people, circumstances, and situations which you may have lacked compassion previously. Because it's going to be made real to all of us that the only way to heal and move forward is through interconnectedness with one another and respecting our differences as well as respecting each other's boundaries and finding the harmony and sinistry and coexisting. Yes, war, it is in the nature of humanity. If you study astrology, you know this. If you study human nature, you know this. If you are idealistic, you don't want to hear this. But it does not have to be made real. If you are in a position of authority or power within society, How are you wielding your power? Are you aware of the consequence of your decisions and how it affects all the constituents who are under your realm? Everybody who gets affected by the decisions you make, or do you just consider self? The moon will bring it to your attention. The eclipse will ask you to shift this. Will you eclipse it out of your life or will you allow a future Mercury retrograde this year to radically shake it out? And then you yourself, how is power being enforced on you? In which ways are you being stepped on, dear viewer? Are you being your most kindest, most compassionate self as well? All of this energy will show this to you. It will bring it to your attention. It's really beautiful. Because there's no more room for harming people just for the sake of being mean. People are losing their lives over such behavior. People are taking their lives over such behavior. If we will move forward, it won't be because we find a new planet to inhabit, just so that we can destroy that one too. It will be because we come together and heal. Not only internally, but holding space and making room for our loved ones and our neighbors to heal and live in their authenticity as well. Now we'll get into the cartomancy portion of the reading. Thank you. So if you're attracted to pile number one, I have the devil, ten of swords, two of cups, eight of pentacles, seven of cups, the foolish man, and the five of cups. 
wow, this is really going to put an end to any toxic connections you have, as well as any toxic attractions, um, any type of obsessive behaviors. Now, that could pertain to either those that you have for someone or that someone has for you. So the energy can go both ways. Also, any behaviors, um, two of cups with the devil could be like repetitive behavior that it feels so good. It's very difficult to stop. It feels like you're dying if you try to stop. Okay. It could also be a, a connection that's very difficult to let go of because of, um, expectations with eight of pentacles and seven of cups of what would manifest. But, you, you know, the foolish man and the five of cups, this eclipse is going to reveal something to you, the energy of it. Dear viewer, the cartomancy portion of this reading is privy to my Patreon subscribers as a special treat and reward for them. If you would like to have access to this reading, consider joining my Patreon. It's affordable. It's amazing. My Patreon subscribers will tell you it's amazing because... It's true. <laughs> I know this is going to utterly piss some of you off, but I really do love you. And I'm sending you a lot of love. <laughs> May you have the Midas touch. May Goddess bless you. Ashe. attracted to pile number two i have the six of swords four of pentacles four of cups seven of cups the sun the high priestess the eight of swords if this is your reading there have been some really significant and key ways in your life in which you've been feeling blocked oppressed unable to move it could be that certain key resources were lacking Something, some important aspect was missing because it takes multiple of something to make a whole in this energy. So it's like without a key factor, something can't progress forward. Either a key resource is missing or pertinent information was withhold, withheld. Okay? So... With that, very key pieces of information is going to be brought to the light for you. Dear viewer, the cartomancy portion of this reading is privy to my Patreon subscribers as a special treat and reward for them. If you would like to have access to this reading, consider joining my Patreon. It's affordable. It's amazing. My Patreon subscribers will tell you it's amazing because it's true. <laughs> I know this is going to utterly piss some of you off, but I really do love you and I'm sending you a lot of love. <laughs> May you have the Midas touch. May Goddess bless you. Ashe. If you're attracted to pile number three, I have the Queen of Cups, the Star, the Hierophant, the Queen of Wands, the Three of Cups, the High Priestess, the Empress. So for many of you, it's going to be a very interesting dynamics that occur within your family. For some of you, it will be through a sibling or through a very important mother-daughter dynamic. I feel like the, there may be some type of healing or reconciliation between a mother and a daughter where maybe things were challenging in the past. Now healing is taking place as a result of the energies of this eclipse. Some of you, this is going to happen to you. Others of you, you'll be witnessing this. You may help to facilitate it. 
that's quite possible here. I'm also seeing that many of you need to prepare for the um, welcoming of very important women into your lives. For some of you, it's romantic. And for others of you, these women are to not only be sisters, but confidants for you and teachers for you. It's very important, um, the energy of women who are going to be coming into your lives. They're here to help you and uplift you. And you also have the same to give to them. It's a beneficial energy of a lot of reciprocity, give and take, e equal, equalness. You know, it's really nice. I'm also randomly picking up on the energy of plural relationships. You know, I'm also picking up on the energy of some of you coming out to your families about your sexuality. Or having someone in your family make such a disclosure. And I just see a lot of healing, expansive, beautiful energy that's attached to it. However this manifests in your life. I feel like spiritually many of you are going to be advancing, leveling up. You are glowing up physically as well, so you may feel very inspired to um, take on new physical regimens or to change your appearance in some variety. You may also wish to change. Um, yeah, you may also wish wish. Pardon me, wish to change the way in which you communicate. There's like a blending of two opposing sides of yourself into one somehow. So there's some energies within you that have been conflicting. Dear viewer, the cartomancy portion of this reading is privy to my Patreon subscribers as a special treat and reward for them. If you would like to have access to this reading, consider joining my Patreon. It's affordable. It's amazing. My Patreon subscribers will tell you it's amazing because it's true. <laughs> I know this is going to utterly piss some of you off but I really do love you and I'm sending you a lot of love <laughs> may you have the Midas touch may goddess bless you Asheo.